Today, I would like to teach you how to find the mass percents of lead and oxygen in lead two oxide. First thing is we're gonna find the total mass and then we can find those percentages easy as 3.14159. Take a look. Bam, so the first step of the process, is we're gonna write down the elements of the compound. So we've got lead and oxygen. Then we're gonna write down the number of atoms of each and that's where the subscripts come into play. If you don't see a subscript there, just put in a one. That means we've got one lead and one oxygen. Then we're gonna simply multiply those number of atoms by the mass of each element. Take a look at the periodic table to help us out. So lead is gonna be 207.2, oxygen is 16. So that's what we're gonna write in here. So lead is gonna be 207.2, oxygen was 16. And then to find the total mass of each element in the compound, just simply multiply this row and across. So the math here is gonna be very, very simple, right? And then to find the total mass of the compound, just simply add this column now on up. So that's gonna be 223.20. And there it is, that's the first step of the process. Now that we know the total mass of the compound, I'm gonna add a column to the table and we can calculate those percentages very, very, very easy. Lee, watch. Bam, so to now find the mass percent of, let's say, lead. You're gonna take the total mass of the lead there, the 207.20, divided by the total mass of that entire compound, 223.20, and multiply that by 100. And your percentage here for lead now will be 92, 92.83. Don't worry about the units of the mass because they will cancel. So quite honestly, don't even bother writing it in. So then we're gonna take the total mass of that oxygen divided by the total mass of the compound, right? And then multiply that by 100. By the way, that's a simple percent calculation, part over whole times 100, okay? And then the percentage here will be roughly 7.17 you know, or so percent, right? And then all you gotta simply do is just, what, what happened there? All you gotta simply do then is just take these two percentages and add them on up. So the total percent here uh, would be 100, and that's just the way to kind of check yourself, all right? And there you are, nice and happy. Thanks so much for watching. Now you know how to find the mass percents of lead and oxygen in lead to oxide. I'll see you in the next one. Take care.